Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is an update for my 9 by November project pan. This is the second update, so we're two months in. I don't have any empty products to share, but I chose difficult products to pan on purpose because this is a longer term project pan. And I think my finale will come either in the middle of November or at the end of November, depending on how close I am to finishing products. I have nine products to share and I wanna start with the blushes. So what I'm doing is instead of trying to finish a blush or hit pan, on something, I'm going to take my six oldest blushes and I'm going to rotate them and try to use each of them 25 times. So at the beginning of the project, I decided to focus on the Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is in the shade Love is the Drug. In the first month, I used this 19 times. In the previous month, I used it an additional six times to hit my 25 use goal. And once I hit my goal on the Charlotte Tilbury blush, I moved on to the Hourglass blush in the shade Incandescent Electra. And this past month, I've used it an additional 14 times. Hopefully, and most likely, next month, I will use this 11 additional times to hit my 25 use goal. And from there, I will move on to my next oldest blush, which is from Hard Candy in the shade Living Doll. I'll try to use this 25 times and then keep going from there. And hopefully I can hit my goal on all six blushes by the end of the project. Now let's start with the one product that I really don't have a lot of great progress to share. It's kind of my fail product for the month, but it is just a product that takes me forever to go through. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Bitch Perfect. I want to say I used this five times last month and I have used 0 0.08 grams of product in the past month. I used zero grams last month, so at least it's an improvement, but it's just gonna take me forever. I still feel confident that I can have this done by the end of November, but really, who's to say? My next one is a foundation. This is from e.l.f. It's the Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Light Ivory, and I do have some lines showing my progress on the side here. I used it pretty regularly. I'm not sure why it seems like I only used half the amount of product that I did in my last month. I'm going to continue to use it regularly and I think I can have this finished maybe within the next two or three months depending on how often I wear makeup. And for this one I used 2.13 grams. My next product is a body mist from the body shop. It's the strawberry scent and I used pretty much about the same amount as I did the previous month, maybe a tiny bit less. It's something I just throw on after I get ready in the morning. It's a great summery scent and I feel like I'm making great progress. I think this will also take me maybe three months to finish. And for this one, I used 13.46 grams. My next liquid product is a setting spray from Pure Cosmetics. It's the Miracle Mist Hydrate and Set. They don't sell these giant eight ounce bottles anymore. This is a very old product, probably one of the oldest products I own. I made decent progress. I think the reason why it doesn't show as much progress as I did the previous month is because I was wearing makeup a little bit less than I was the previous month, but also we're at a wider part of the bottle, so um, this upper part was a thinner portion of the bottle, not as much product to go through, and now we're hitting the widest part of the bottle. So I think progress is going to look a little bit slower, but this one I still feel really confident about. Maybe if I continue to use it like I do every day with most setting sprays, I think once again, three months is going to be the sweet spot. And for the pure... Miracle Mist, I used 23.46 grams, which now that I look at last month, last month I used 43 grams, which is 20 grams more than I did this previous month. I must have just really not worn a lot of makeup in the past month. My next product is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is the shade 1 Fair, and I am making pretty steady progress. I just use a really thin e.l.f. brush. Where is it? I use this really thin e.l.f. brush. It's kind of like a small tapered brush. I think that's what it's called. And I just dip into there and I use it to set my under eyes. It's what I'm wearing today. That's really the only way I use this. I used 0.88 grams, which is pretty good compared to the previous month. I used 1.1 grams, so not too much of a difference in use. And I really feel confident that this will get finished by the end of the project. I might have to repress it next month, depending on how close I get to the edges and how much difficult I get getting the product out of there, but still feel really confident about this one and I'm glad I'm making steady progress and not burning through it too quickly because it is a very expensive product. My next product is from Pure Cosmetics. It's the Pure Glow Together Bronzer. I used 1.56 grams of this, which is a little bit less than the two grams I used last month. I started using a much softer brush with it because I am very nervous that given the formula, it'll just chip off if I use a brush that's too harsh. So now I'm using this really soft brush 
from It Cosmetics. It's just a giant fluffy brush. The bristles are not super dense and they're really soft and I find that I get enough product in there to evenly distribute it all over my face, neck, and chest, but I'm not chipping away at the product and wasting any in the process. I do have a little extra pan at the top there. I don't think that was there last month. And even though there's not a huge progress in the pan size, I do feel that the actual product is getting really thin around the edges. My second to last product is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter. I didn't use this as much as I did the previous month. I'm still trying to finish the tiniest little bit left that I have from a Wet n Wild highlighter. And I just was playing around with some other highlighters too, so this one didn't really get a lot of attention. I used 0.12 grams compared to last month, I used 0.3 grams, so less than half of the usage that I had the previous update. I think I am going to have to get a little more serious about using this almost exclusively if I do want to have this finished by November. Honestly, if it's not 100% done, as long as I make a lot of really good progress, I'm not going to consider that like a failure, and hopefully, I can just finish it and have it done by the end of the year at least. And my very last product is a brow pomade from ABH. It's in the shade Taupe and I used 0.11 grams versus 0.2 grams last month. So a little bit less, I think in general, just a little bit less progress to share this month than the previous month. I'm slowly chipping away at the side there. I still have a lot of product in there and I do think it is going to take me until November to finish that little portion. But I do use it in my brows every day. I'm wearing it today and then I have a little bit of a darker pencil making the tip of my brow a little bit deeper. No problem using this every day and I don't feel like the formula is getting too dry or too bad to the point where I can't continue using it, so that's good. So those are all of the products I have to talk about. Not as great of an update as last month, but I still used 41.8 grams, which is pretty good. Last month I used 50.7, but I didn't, I couldn't calculate how much of the strawberry mist I used up because it was too heavy to weigh at that time. So I definitely used way more grams of product than I did last month, but 41.8 I don't think is too, too bad. I really hope I have some good progress to share with you next month. Maybe some products that are almost, almost empty. We'll have to see. If you're interested in how I did my eye makeup today or the rest of my face makeup, I do have an eyeshadow bingo video coming up next week. So stay tuned for that. I know um, it's not the most summery makeup look, but I still really like it. I haven't worn a red lip in forever and it feels good to be back in a red lip. I really appreciate you spending some time with me to watch my video, but in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.